This tomato galette is perfect for any summer lunch. Use the freshest tomatoes that you can find in the summer season and make this delicious pie. Enjoy! Place in a food processor 200 grams or one and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. Add five grams or one teaspoon of salt. Mix the flour and the salt well, and then add 60 grams or a quarter cup of sourdough starter. You can use sourdough discard for this recipe. Mix until the sourdough starter blends well with the rest of the flour. Add 120 grams or half a cup of very cold butter cut in pieces. First, add half of the butter and process together. Then, add the rest of the butter and keep processing for about 30 seconds. Then, add 30 grams or one tablespoon of cold water. Keep processing all the ingredients together until you have a cohesive dough. Take the dough out of the fruit processor and use your hands to bring together all the dough. Avoid working the dough for a long period of time so the dough doesn't melt in the process. Make a bowl of dough, cover it with plastic wrap and place it in the fridge overnight or at least one hour before baking. Take the dough out of the fridge and while it gets to room temperature, prepare the tomatoes. Cup a half inch thick slices of the freshest tomatoes you can find. The tomatoes in the summer season are perfect for this galette. Place all the tomatoes on a cooling rack on top of a baking sheet and sprinkle them with salt. The salt will help to season your tomatoes, as well as remove the excess of natural juices in the tomatoes. This step is important in order to get a galette that is not soggy. Flip the tomato slices around one by one and season again with salt. Let the tomatoes rest for about 30 minutes. Take a paper towel and start patting dry the tomatoes to remove the excess of juice in the tomatoes. Repeat the same process on both sides. Now, take the dough and extend it with a rolling pin until you have a circle of about nine inches or 20 centimeters in diameter. Transfer the dough to a prepared baking sheet with parchment paper or a silicone mat. Spread two tablespoons of spicy mustard or Dijon mustard and leave about one inch or three centimeters of dough without mustard. Place one cup of Gruyere cheese or sharp cheddar cheese. For this recipe, try to use a cheese that has a low content of moisture and fat and that is aged like this Gruyere cheese. I am also adding a third of a cup of Parmesan cheese. The blend of these cheeses will help to absorb the moisture of the tomatoes and will avoid a soggy galette in the end. Place all the slices of tomatoes one on top of each other, this way, around on top of all the cheese. Fold the dough carefully over the filling. In the parts where the dough falls over itself, make sure to press it together so the dough doesn't open as it bakes in the oven. Brush the dough with egg wash. Pour some extra virgin olive oil on top of the tomatoes and fresh milk pepper. Place the galette in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius for about 45 minutes or until the dough is golden brown and the tomatoes are fully baked. Let the galette cool off on a cooling rack for at least 30 minutes. Sprinkle some fresh basil and you will be ready to slice it. 
This galette is perfect for a summer lunch. Enjoy! Hey, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please click on the like button and share this video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I have a new video every week.